semifinal action kicks off this evening as the Atlanta Swarm host the Baltimore Vultures. Good evening, everybody. I am Mike Daggs, and joining me in the booth, analyst of the year, Gerald Smith. With us on Stats today, Ron Haynes and Rochelle Colson. You are watching the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. Helping to open up running lanes for BDG. Keep Brian on his feet. On third and four, quick pass over the middle's caught. Came back this season, had their best record ever at 11 and 1. Oh! Oh. BDG Hollywood, part of the reason why, and also moves the chains on that snap. First down and 10 from the Baltimore 29. Threw it kind of back shoulder. I think he would have had it. Tried to hit Boo Chisholm. Steps up into the pocket, checks it down to oh, Mitchell O'Brien again. Right. Look at that fullback go. Gets inside the 10, first and goal. I had no moves. That's why I retired. Dynasty steps up, throws back corner of the Whoa. end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. And that's why you do the hurry up, right? Like you get Baltimore on their heels and you just keep running plays especially if you like the matchup and that whole drive especially the last three plays crowd on their feet once again for this third down and nine the ball is snap final play of the first quarter wigmore down the oh! middle there's a catch by a baltimore receiver and he's off to the races to the house ivory urban touchdown vultures that's how you end a quarter right, just when you thought baltimore didn't have nothing in them dot net See the rushing stats. Oh, Dynasty trying to whoa get that one picked off. He was trying to hit Siege Falco. Getting you at least half you need for a first down. Oh, oh. under pressure, sacked. This defensive line has come to eat Leo Jefferson with the sack third and 17. Wow. Wigmore. Keep an eye on Ivory Irvin. Waiting to get another big play after that 77 yard oh. deep down the left sideline. There he is, 10-5, touchdown Baltimore. They strike again the same way. Let's see if we can add to the rushing total here. They do indeed hand it off to Murray. There you go, couple of moves. Gets the first down up to the Atlanta 49 yard line. They total of seven games. Right. That run also good for a first down as they continue to work their backs. Warren Murray in the set, three to the right, two to the left, Wigmore and the gun deep down the middle into triple coverage wow. and caught. Climbing that ladder, getting that catch. Daly Holder. Wigmore hands it off. Murray up the middle and he is stopped. Got to give it to the Atlanta defense. Third down and one has been their bread and butter. They're not letting anything through. It's, uh, that's not many yards, Cheryl. Tark's <laughs> target kicks it up and good. And, uh, you know, that was, that's the thing we were talking about in the first quarter, how Baltimore really had hardly any yards. And then all of a sudden, 77 yards later, in one pass, they get a touchdown after, uh, you know, really not doing a whole lot else. Wigmore in the gun on third down and eight. Deep down the left-hand sideline. Oh. There he goes again. Ivory Irvin this time caught from behind. But another huge gain to keep piling on yards to his huge day. First down and 10 from the Atlanta 29. Yeah, stopping Baltimore in, on the third and shorts. Wigmore gets it over the middle. Ivory Irvin with the short yardage catch. Two to the right. Six yards away from the end zone. Wigmore throws back corner of the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Just when everybody's looking at Ivory Irvin right here, seeing if he's going to be the one to get that pass, who they throw it to? Mac Chima. Mac and Chisma. And right there, he got his one foot in that he needed, and now they are up 23-7. to Round game, he only has eight yards on the ground on three rushing attempts. Gets the handoff oh. here, spins. There you go. That's why you get Hollywood involved. Scooting up past midfield, gets up to the Baltimore 46-yard line. <laughs> Second leading receiver, Mitchell O'Brien, the fullback. Deep over Whoa. the middle, trying to flip that script on one play. Gets it out to... Boo Chisholm with his first catch of the ball game. There's a name that uh, I thought I'd be saying a lot more. Down by 17 points. Why not throw it to 17 in the end zone over the middle? Oh, That's back to Boo Chisholm. A touchdown does a lot more for the morale. Hollywood takes a handoff okay. and Waltz is in. Touchdown swarm. It's been a while, but they're back in the end zone. Yeah, and what a way to do it right here, right? You do something similar where you kind of spread them out, bring a couple of tight ends, overload it on the right side. Murray was going on. He was able to bring him down. Baltimore on third down. They will stick to the ground. Murray 
being chased behind the line of scrimmage. He's able to fall across the line again, gets the first down. Will look like it might be a tackle for a loss. Gains four. Put them back up by a two touchdown lead. And they need a good hold here to get a good kick. Good snap, good hold, kick on its way. And it is good from 51 yards. Shark Tarkington. Six minutes, six seconds to go. Their defense has done well on numerous possessions. Yeah, but they're going to go deep over the middle oh. anyway. And that one is caught. A big gain on that play. Everything from here on out is four down territory. I would say. Dynasty. Quick pass. That one is caught by Falco. Keeps the drive alive. Team right on the edge of the red zone. Dynasty with a five-step drop out route up top to Falco. Stays in bounds, gets the first down. They'll go into the hurry up. They want to conserve some of this time. If Dynasty would have waited just one more second. Mitchell Brown would have been open. Short drop by Dynasty. Has time. Gets it up to Hollywood. Open. Hollywood's got some room. He's first into down, the end down. zone. Touchdown swarm. A one-score ball game as we've got about four minutes to go here in Atlanta at the high. Three timeouts. I don't like this at all. Right, because your defense is playing good. You don't want to give them just a chance to get a few yeah. yards. I hate it more than anchovies. Ball bounces around and picked up by Baltimore. They will take over at their own 39-yard line. So the, the biggest problem is like, you still have time to get a stop. You still have time to get the ball back. Over the middle right here. Wagmore under center. The defense ready to act. Quick pass. That's complete. First down. Daly Holder. Here in Hope. Hope for a block. Warren Murray gets the first down. And Atlanta will have to call their second timeout. Right here, it's, it's, uh, I, I don't know what they're thinking because you have to block this to give yourself a chance at winning. First, the snap we'll see. Good snap, good hold, kick up. Chip shot. It's good from 29 yards out. Baltimore 30, Atlanta 21. Just hike the ball. That, that's a matchup. Dynasty, one final pass over the middle's caught. We'll and go into the it. hurry up, but that is your ball game. Baltimore gets the win. They're headed back to the championship again. Off to face, who knows, Fort Worth or Arizona. Gerald, as we roll through the final stats and highlights, your final thoughts on this one. Well, Baltimore came out kind of flat, and Atlanta looked like they was in control for... 99.9% .9 of the first quarter, and then Baltimore just had that one big play, and it took the air out of the stadium and the team of Atlanta.